Hey, this is Mike. I'm checking out this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Uh, this is the Laredo is more of the the, the, the first package you would get in the uh, the Grand Cherokee in the um, 2015. It's the lower package, but it has a lot of features that you would like, and it looks pretty good to me. Um, one thing you'll probably notice right away is that the has a smaller alloy wheel versus like say the Overmit, Overland or the Limited stuff like that they have the the 20 inch wheels and um, and these are the 17's Let's see right there the size but that's the that's the main visual dif difference uh, when you you know you first glance at it um, it's the same body style and uh, the headlights are, are slightly different it does have a halogen projector headlight here in the front as well as fog lights and this one is a granite color so it's like a dark gray charcoal looking I guess you can say but it's the official name is granite and it has the proximity key I have the key right here and uh, it's basically just a key fob it does have a key inside which slides out but um, basically you just keep the key in your pocket and you can lock and unlock the doors I'm gonna go ahead and lock the doors just to show you that's the button there and to unlock it with the key in my pocket I just put my hand here and um, you know nope it unlocks and I can open it up so here's the inside of the passenger door you've got a real wood grain trim here and I you can kind of feel the um, the wood grain in it a little bit. It's not as much as some of them, but it is a real wood trim. Pocket there at the bottom. Now this one has the uh, the tan interior, and with the tan interior, you have uh, the seats tan. The floor, the carpet is black, and the and uh, but up here the dash is black, and then you have the the wood grain uh, dividing the two. Glove compartment is pretty good size. It has a felt lining in the inside. You can see it does have the privacy glass from the factory. It's the inside of the back door. Now here's the second row of seats. And uh, of course this one doesn't have a third row, but this is the back seats. And you can see... Um, there's a, it's like a bench seat so you can have a middle passenger and if you don't have a middle passenger you can put this down and you have a armrest and some cup holders got a net pocket here in the back of the front seats it does have the latch system for um, hooking up car seats here in this little section here got some vents now these seats do fold down it is a 60 40 split so you can put one down or both down and get a combination of passenger and cargo space or whatever, whatever you need. And um, just want to point out something. If you put a car seat in the vehicle and, you, and it has a like a tethered anchor, um, it, it connects to here. Uh, don't connect it to this right here. And sometimes it's a little confusing because when you lift this up, it, that actual anchor gets hidden behind that cover. So just make sure that you hook it there. It has a little symbol on it to you know tell you, but it's not everybody kind of rec you know kind of looks at that. But but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the back. Right here is the uh, is the back. You have a single exhaust with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It does have the eight-speed transmission. There's no dual exhaust on this vehicle. And um, there's no like backup cameras. There's no backup uh, sensors. It's um, it's pretty basic back here. And of course, you get a, a really good price for having that basic the basic vehicle. You got a storage pocket here, power supply. Um, those are for you know hanging uh, grocery bags here. There's a uh, this is a rechargeable LED flashlight. And then that way you can, you know, you can have um, 
you know, a flashlight when you need it, and it's rechargeable, so it stays right there. Pocket right there. Now this is your cargo area, but uh, you also have a little bit more underneath here with the spare tire. You've got the spare tire, your tools, and you also have this uh, this removable bin here. Now some of them have two, one on this side. I'm not sure if this one is missing or um, if it they just if the Laredo is just uh, now coming with one, but it seems like there, there there's another one usually on that side. So I have to check in on that. All of them in, in the past have always had two. So it's possible this one's just missing that one. Alright, so this is a heated side mirror. Has a little, you can tell by the little symbol there. Here's the inside of the driver's door. Now, um, just want to point out the here's the door locks, the power windows, the front ones are power. Like say, you can just push them one time and it'll go right down. The rear ones you do have to hold down. So you can push it down, but I think you have to pull when you're rolling the window up. You have to hold it. There's some pockets down there. Do you have a power seat with lumbar support? adjustments automatic headlights let me go ahead and show you the fuel door because this is a capless design and uh, you know, it has a seal right here but basically you don't need a cap now there's a funnel next to the spare tire underneath there um, you might have seen it that's for using a gas can and it is a flex fuel vehicle by the way All right, so let me hop in. And in order to start it, see everything's off now. In order to start it, I have the key in my pocket. I just have to put my foot on the brake and then just push this button. And everything turns on. Here's the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped um, steering wheel with some stitching here. And on the right side, you'll see some buttons. These are for your cruise control. You just have to make sure it's turned on, and then it'll give you some visual cues there to make sure that you know that it's on before you try to set it. And um, on the back of the steering wheel, we have the paddle shifters here, here and here, with the eight-speed transmission. So if you wanna, if you need to change gears, like say you need to gear down. Uh, if you're going down a steep grade or something, or if you just want to get sporty and put it in sport mode, which this does have, I'll show you in a second, you can, um, you know, change to the shifts, uh, shift through the gears. Now, right below the paddle shifter, on the back of the steering wheel, it's kind of hard to show you, um, there is a volume button. So I can turn the volume up and down right here on the back, and I can change to the stations on this side right below the paddle shifter. Kid Morning Show. So I can turn the volume down. But uh, that way it keeps your hands on the steering wheel and um, and you can change to the stations, you can do the volume and all that good stuff while you're driving and uh, you keep your eyes on the road. Now on this side we've got, this is your voice recognition. So like say you can push that button and uh, tell the system to call a certain person, go to a certain station, things like that. These are your Bluetooth. Once you pair your cell phone with the Bluetooth system, you can uh, make and receive calls and end calls with these buttons here. So here's your gauge cluster. You have normal gauges that are on the outside, but in the center you have a pretty good size uh, uh, screen. And right now it's set to the speedometer. So um, I'm going to use these buttons right here to navigate through the screen just to kind of show you. Um, I can change. turn that off okay I can change sorry about that I can change the uh, the, um, the the speedometer to where it looks like that which is just a big number which is very easy to see or I can change it to a big 
analog style uh, speedometer. So I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to change it to here. And um, so I'm going to scroll down and it takes me to a different menu system. Right now it's uh, giving me the option to change it to kilometers per hour. Scrolling down again, uh, this is your vehicle info screen. And so I can scroll to the right. It starts off uh, the first, you see the little bubbles down here. This shows me that I have uh, multiple different uh, information, more information in the same menu system. So I'm going to, right now it starts off with tire pressure. I'm going to scroll to the right, transmission temperature, and it gives me temperatures and pressures, uh, you know, for the vehicle. And it's stuff that you don't necessarily have to look at all the time, but it does give you that, uh, the option to look at that information. Scrolling down, uh, this is your fuel economy. Now your average will show up there, but also your range on the left. And also, while you're driving, you'll get a real-time, in-the-moment um, number, which will show up in green here, and a little little uh, status bar there. Scrolling down again gives you your trips. There's a trip A and trip B by pushing left and right, and I can look at them. So uh, the trip not only gives you the uh, distance traveled, but also the average miles per gallon during that distance and the elapsed time during that distance. Scrolling down again, this is just telling what your radio is doing. Stored messages would show up here, uh, like say um, any kind of um, time to change the oil or uh, uh, pretty much anything, even a turn signal out or something, it'll show up here. It'll alert you. You don't actually have to go to the stored messages screen. It'll alert you if uh, if there's a tire low or any of these things happen. It'll it'll let you know. Um, it'll kind of go in front of you when you start the vehicle, but then it'll store it here. So the you know you take it to your shop and you can show them. Hey, these are the messages that I got. Um, screen setup. This is where you can change. Um, you can see on the corners here it has some different information. Right now it has the exterior exterior temperature and the compass on the top right you can also add some stuff at the bottom uh, that's where the screen setup is is handy to do that and then it scrolls back to your speedometer so um so, you know so it's, it's a pretty good menu system here that you know gives you lots lots of information and of course you can just leave it on speedometer and you don't have to look any at any of it so it's just there if you need it All right, so here's your radio, and um, this is your radio screen. It has AM, FM, and satellite radio. The satellite radio on a new vehicle is um, free for, for the first year. Media, um, right now, there's no USB connected, but you can play music through a USB port, which it has, Bluetooth, SD card, or auxiliary inputs there. You just have to connect to the devices. Phone. Um, I'm not going to pair a phone now, but once it's connected, once you have a phone paired, you'll have uh, your ability to go in your phone book, uh, see recent calls. There'll be a, a touchscreen uh, keypad. You can make calls, and you can also hit transfer and transfer the calls back to your cell phone if you want to have a private conversation and you have people in the vehicle. Down here is your your, your another volume button and tune through the stations. Uh, you can turn the screen off if you want to using this button here. Uh, this back button is to go back in the previous screen in this screen here. Um, right here you have a compass, which looks pretty cool. Climate controls are in here. And of course you have some redundant buttons down here, but you can also control the climate um, here. You see what all the, the buttons look like there. So like say I can hit the temperature and I can uh, you know change the temperature down which, and stuff like that. I can change the fan speed. Like that, okay. Stuff like that. So hitting the more button will tell you the out, outside temperature. You can get a big clock here if you're running late for work. You need to keep an eye on the clock or whatever. Um, but you also have your settings in here as well. This is eco mode. Default is on. When you turn the vehicle on, it's on. But you can always turn it off if you want to really, uh, you know. You know emphasize the vehicle on um, the performance or whatever and that's kind of what sport mode does it turns this off and kind of emphasizes performance uh, traction control this uh, this will help you it's automatically on 
but if you need to turn it off it's here and, and basically the only reason why you want to turn it off is if you're stuck or something like that you need to spin wheels right in here is your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs that's where the uh, where you can play music um, off of different devices power supply there to the right and you've got a little storage pocket there in front of it now here's your shifter and like I was talk talking about before this is a speed transmission and in order to use it you just bump it basically you don't slide it like a normal shifter so right now it's in reverse um, and what so right there's reverse and then neutral and you can tell what gear you're in up here as well so I'm gonna put it in back down and drive and you can see let me get a little bit closer look here you can see where it says uh, drive and then there's an S below it uh, the S below it is sport mode so I'm gonna go down one more time and then it gives me that cool picture of the sporty vehicle with a little checker flag like I'm gonna get all uh, racy but um, right now it's in sport mode that turns off eco mode and emphasizes the, the car to um, performance over fuel economy so I'm gonna scroll down again to go back to drive I can go down again to sport as long as I go down it's just switch it switching those off and I go up it goes in the neutral and park and then up there so that's how that's done that's how the shifter works cup holders are here now they are illuminated cup holders with some ambient light which you will not see during the day but at nighttime it looks pretty cool you got a pocket there armrest um, this armrest has two uh, sections and there's two buttons here one is bigger than the other the small one reveals this little pocket here and um, this is a felt line pocket and it you know useful for putting your cell phone or whatever there as a place to put wires in and out the big button opens up the the big daddy storage bin and uh, there is a power supply in there and there's a place to put wires in and out of it as well up here is a um, your rear view mirror now it's not auto dim it's got the little flippy thing down here but you have speakers on top of it for your Bluetooth system this is a place to put your cell phone uh, well you could put your cell phone there but it's really made for sunglasses tap light here this is more of a flood this is more of a spot light and here's the visor and it has mirrors and lights same thing on that side so I'm just gonna adjust the seat a little bit and as far as soft to the touch there's a lot of a lot of soft to the touch the steering wheel is uh, pretty soft this, the dashboard soft um, here is soft the wood is not soft but all around it is there's some hard surfaces like this this is um, kind of soft but you know not really like you can't like indent your finger in it but it feels smooth and soft to the touch this is definitely soft Alright, so um, let's see what's underneath the hood. It's kind of windy today, so hopefully my wind filter will take care of that. Alright, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Under the hood, covered by plastic. So you can't really see a whole lot. You can see a little bit here in the front. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, leave it in the comments, and I'll be glad to you know help as much as I can. If you have any clarifications or anything you want to add please leave it in the comments as well and i'll see you next time thank you for watching